Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Y'all, real quick, before we dive into today's video, do me a favor, follow me on Instagram, t.jack2 underscores, man. I greatly appreciate it. Thank all y'all for the love and support. Continue to support. So for today's video, y'all, in a previous video, I shot about a year ago about my apartment. Uh, you know, just giving y'all a tour. On this video, I'm giving y'all like the last breakdown of everything because I'm getting ready to move out, y'all. Getting ready to say adios to this place. I've been here two years and it's time for me to move on, man. Um, it was a cool experience, you know. First apartment by myself, it was it was all right, but you know, on to bigger and better things. So I just want to give y'all a breakdown right now. So, all right, <laughs> real quick, never use this toaster. Never use this. I use this like a couple times and this a couple times. So I had stuff along the wall. I'm pretty sure y'all seen in an old video about a year ago. I cleaned all that up, um, got rid of all that today. That's mainly what I've been doing. And you know, cleaning out the cabinets, cleaning out the cabinets. All right, so, all right, so real quick, I'm a big plastic guy. I don't like washing dishes. So everything I buy, I buy plastic, plastic cups, plastic plates, plastic silverware, and you know, I keep it short and simple. I don't need nothing, you know. I mean, I do have like physical plates and cups and stuff, but y'all, my life different. Like, I don't, <laughs> I ain't no like cooking guy and doing all that. See, I got a couple uh, cups and then bowls, plates and stuff like that. But yeah, so I've been cleaning out these cabinets and, you know, that's all I've really been doing today, y'all. You know, just cleaning out. I got pots and pans in there. Like I said, y'all, I never cooked, you know, usually I Uber eats or I throw something in the oven or, you know, that's, that's really it. Mainly I go out or throw something in the oven. So back to it. Um, I'm pretty sure in the previous video, y'all seen, I had two couches. I gave one of them couches to my cousin. So whenever I move, I'm probably going to give that one away. If not, I'm probably gonna take it to the dumpster. I would hate to do that. I don't wanna do that. So if any of y'all need a couch that's watching this video, man, hit me up in a DM on Instagram, t.jack2 underscores. I will gladly give you this couch, but you gotta come pick it up. I'm not delivering it for you. And yeah, so I'm getting rid of them chairs. I'm gonna give me a new set of chairs. I'm probably gonna keep the bean bag, you know, bean bag cool. I, I never really sat on it, but it, you know, it just make the, you know, you know, whether it's a house or party, make it look more cooler and, you know, more like a man cave, I guess, you know, to, I can say more of a man cave. But yeah, so I got this TV here that I bought for my mom. And, you know, when I bought it, didn't know she didn't need it. So I just got it set in there and, you know, watching my boy Richard on YouTube. So, yeah, that's mainly it in the living room and kitchen, you know. Like I said, I ain't really got a whole lot to move out, you know. Uh, same old bedroom, you know, that's gonna be easy to take down and, you know, put back up in my new place. And I'm also, I'm also, I'm also gonna give y'all a tour of my new place. Um, I move in in like three weeks. Well, I get the keys in like three and a half weeks. So as soon as I move, I'm gonna do like a, before I move all my stuff in, I'm gonna do a tour and give y'all a breakdown on how much I'll be paying and stuff like that. And also for this apartment, whenever I'm moving out, I'm in the process of moving out, probably that day I'm moving out, I'm gonna give y'all a video, you know, just showing y'all, you know, my lifestyle, you know, I, I don't wanna just make videos of me sitting down, I wanna vlog as well. So I'm gonna switch it up. So back to the bathroom, man, let me cut on this light in here, it's kind of dark. Cut that shit off. So like I said, simple stuff, y'all, this stuff, I can just throw in, uh, you know, a box, box all this stuff up quickly and get rid of it. Like I said, man, in and out records, in and out LLC, in and out. You know, I, I like doing things quickly and neatly as possible. This is my closet. Pretty sure y'all seen it in my last video. So I do have quite a bit of clothes. These are not even all my clothes. I got way more shoes than this. I got, I got a lot of stuff and, you know, I couldn't fit all of it in this closet. So. My next place closet should be a tad bit bigger. Y'all wanna know what's crazy? Real quick, y'all wanna know what's crazy. So the apartment 
the new apartment I'm signing to, they newly built. They've been open for a few months. I toured them once before, like as soon as they opened, but my lease wasn't up yet. So I didn't sign. I was just going to like tour them just in case I wanted to move over there. So when I went there two weeks ago to, you know, try to tour the one I wanted, they didn't have nothing available to show. So she was like, I'll call you if we get one. So she called me, she was like, we have one available. I can send you, you know, new rates and stuff, which you'll be paying. So she sent it over. I looked at it, checked it out. And I'm like, all right, cool. She told me I possibly could be paying 1450 to 1500 a month. And I was like, all right, cool. I was like, I want to see the unit. But she was like, we don't have none available. It's not available to June 7th. So I literally just took a, a, a risk, like a gamble. So basically I signed uh, uh, the lease and I didn't even get to see the type of unit, you know, like the floor plan of the unit. I didn't get to see it. So I'm kind of like, okay, I just, you know, took a risk. So I'm possibly probably gonna look at it this Thursday and I'll probably give y'all a video on that. Um, yeah, but yeah, you know, that that's crazy. That's crazy. And for this apartment unit right here, I currently pay thirteen fifty, and you know it's cool. The square footage is six eighty seven, so it's not really that big. This next apartment I'm moving to is a, a little bit bigger, cause you know I, I kind of want to go with like a gaming setup, gaming PC setup, and you know like I wanted some more where I feel like I can stretch out, you know, which you know price is like really nothing to me. But right now I'm delaying gratification, living below my means because you know i'm investing and i got some other stuff going on so uh you know it's a balance you leverage your way to wealth and you know live below your means you just can't splurge on life and try to you know do other things you gotta look at your finances and figure out what works best for you so yeah that's really it y'all just wanted to make this quick video real quick just to show y'all you know me getting ready to move like i said i've been here two years it was a cool spot, you know. What I liked about this spot the most, it was literally right by I-10 and 99. So I work out at Lifetime and that's on 99 going south, literally like eight minutes away from here. And then like when I need to go deeper into downtown Houston, just hop on I-10, literally right next to the highway. And you know, I like it, you know. And that's kind of how I always want to set up where I live. I want to be close to the highway you know, I'm gonna have, you know, as I grow, get bigger, whatever, I'm gonna have houses in different areas, but my main house gotta be close to, you know, the highway, just in case, you know, I, emergency, I need to run somewhere, whatever, we'll just get on the highway real quick. But yeah, man, that's mainly it. Like I said, for this place, I paid 1350 for those of you who, who do wanna know and, you know, got questions. If y'all got any questions on, on you know, the, the new rates of apartments, how much they charge them down here in Houston or just in any city. I mean, y'all can look it up on y'all selves, but I can get y'all the whole scoop on, you know, the prices you're going to be looking to pay in Houston. And we in a recession, inflation is through the roof. Well, I ain't going to say it's through the roof, but it was up and it slowly went down. And now it's just like, like staying at that, that middle market. So price is still going to be high and you know, you're going to pay. And what's crazy is wages stand the same. So this is what they this is what they mean when they say the rich get rich and the poor get poor. Because who own all the assets? The rich people. So but yeah, y'all, that's the video for today, man. I'm excited. Like I said, I can't wait to move, man. Like, I'm pumped. I've been waiting on this move for a minute. I should have just stayed here a year, but I ended up re-signing because I'm I ain't gonna lie, I was just busy, had stuff to do. I really didn't feel like moving at the time, but now it's time for me to get away. I'm getting away from this place. I, you know, I, I done my time here. Now it's time to move on to bigger and better things, like I said. So thank you all for tuning in today's video. Remember y'all do me a favor, follow me on Instagram, t.jack2 underscores. I really appreciate y'all and thank y'all for everything. Also, if you're new to this channel, do me a favor, check me out, like this video, comment below and subscribe, man. And click the bell to be notified when I drop. Don't be shy. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all next video. I'm out.